Hello there, this is Dimitrios Christou and I'm back with a quick tip. Now this one is for people modeling and I think you'll find it pretty cool and pretty useful. This is about being able to present and see how your models look and how your models interact with light when being in the viewport. Now I have set the render to cycles render and usually what you have to do is move to the shading options for the viewport and change it to rendered and then cycle kicks in and you see how your model looks and all now this is pretty nice but if you want to edit your model you then have to move back to solid or texture and then work with your model now there is another nice option usually used for OpenGL render and all but it can also make your models look pretty nice and it can also help you check how the light reacts to the model and this is the ambient occlusion option for the viewport for the shading option you can see that by clicking it let's check and uncheck it once again this is without and this is with you can see that you're getting a good look at how the object looks this is pretty close to how the object would look if you were to set it to Blender internal and set the environment or ambient occlusion rendering option. So this is pretty nice for seeing how your model will look when rendered. And as you can see, you can hit the tab key and work with your model easily and adjust it. Now there is a few options here. I've set the strength up to two so you can clearly see the effect. Let's set it down to one. One is the default value. And also, you, if you find it to be taxing for your graphics card, if you're finding that your graphics card struggles to render your viewport, you can set the samples down from 20, let's say, down to 10. It will produce some noise, but the effect here is pretty nice as well. What you can also do is change the color. Now let's say that you're having a scene where everything will be lit by a bright blue sky and you want to see how your scene and how your objects will look under the sky. So I've set it to blue and as you can see we're getting this nice blue color here and this one looks pretty nice and pretty interesting as well. So this is it, this is a quick tip. It also makes your viewport look pretty cool so... I think you guys find this one interesting. This is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.